Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bear's hot homestead in the desert. Yeah, temps going up instead of down. It's a little after five. I'm getting ready to cook my supper here, but I figured I'd get a video in first. So let's get up off my butt and head outside where uh, it's nice and co cozy and cool. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's all the dogs. They've been going through about 15 to 20 gallons of water a day. Eight dogs. I fill up all their water with five gallon pails and uh, water bowls and all that stuff in the first thing in the morning and by um, just about sunset it's all empty and I'm filling it up again uh, that's the deal all right so they tore up my tote koozie cover so I can't put it on at night it's gonna have to go in for repairs tomorrow but uh I got the filter running in there, but there's still dirt and dust and bugs on top of the water. So I have to use my little net to clean that off. Let's move around here so we can get to where the batteries are. Oh, it looks like somebody was upset that one of the water bowls was empty. And they brought it over here. Who was it? Was it you? Huh? All right. So, got my little fans running in here. And uh, on the old battery bank, I'm running at 13.7. And on the new one, I'm running at 13.6. 13.6. So they, they agree with each other. Now today, I bit the bullet and maxed out another credit card. Um, because I had to get the the shunt and battery monitor for these batteries. There's too much money invested in these batteries to not have accurate readings. These readings are not accurate. These readings are guesstimations. The only way to get an accurate reading is to tie a, uh, a shunt, battery monitor shunt, into the negative cable, this one right here, and uh, read off of that. So I'm thinking I can mount it right there on the wall when I put this cover back on there. I just took it off again um, because I've been trying to get my internet connected. But in order to get internet connected, it wants me to um, power down the system and uh, reset it to factory default and then I can hook up my or, or get my um, internet connected and then I'm going to have to redo all of the settings in the in this uh, unit that I've already got set and working because that's the way it is uh-huh I like it Actually, it's a pain in the neck that I've got to go through all of that. So in order to do this easier, what I was uh, looking at in the book was to finally, I've been living all these years, 10 years without, without it, but it wants me to put a breaker like this one in the um, positive run of the battery. And then also another one in the positive run of the solar panels. So I've got that other one down here that's not being used anymore that I could use on the solar panels because I'll never go over 50 amps on the solar panels. And uh, once I get those two mounted on the wall here, then whenever I need to do something like that, instead of having to take the wires out to do my disconnect I'll just have to 
hit the red button right here on the breaker and that gives me a quick disconnect. So I figure why not while I'm doing it. So I've got the uh, the eyelets right here that I'll use to do that and uh, then I've got the heavier duty eyelets for the um, the big one op cable uh, right here right here I just have to enlarge the hole on them so I got a few of those down here and I'll get those onto the cable so that when my shunt gets here, which is probably going to be on the, on the 8th, which is Monday, um, I'll be doing all of this stuff all at the same time. And I may wait until right after dark to where it's easy to, to do this. And it's just going to be a lot of wire cutting and soldering and, and that kind of stuff. And then I'll do a later on video the next day on that to show how it was all put together. All right, so also um, I'm going to have another product review coming up. Uh, that's because I have a company sending me a LiPo 4 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And uh, they want me to do a review on that one. So I will be doing a review on that. And then uh, later on next month or later on this month, they're also going to send me a LiFo 4 battery charger to do a review on. They were, I wanted them to send the two together, but they can't because they're, the battery charger is not available until later this month. So I'll have to do two separate videos, and I'll be charging that LiFo battery up on solar. So I'll probably end up using this um, solar charger to, to do that and this will this one will handle 200 amps of solar so I probably get two 100 amp solar panels together and ready to go out here in the Sun and do the charging that way so it's got a bunch of things coming up everybody and I think you'll be interested in it and uh, if you'd like to see some of the other stuff didn't leave me a comment down below also for those newcomers I, I just got my stats for this last month for, for the month of June and like 79 almost 80 percent of the, the people that viewed last month are all newcomers to the channel I'd like to have you guys tell me where you're from um, what state you're from what country you're from uh, leave me a comment down below on that stuff. Let me know. Also, why not hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything? Because there's a lot of stuff coming up that you'll be interested in. This is G-Bear thanking you for joining me and signing off.